In this tutorial, we're going to talk about adding a blog post to your website. So in the demonstration site we've been working on in this tutorial series, we have been talking about pages, which are typically static. You set them and you leave them in place and maybe you add more pages over time, but that's not really what we consider blog content. That's the static content that talks about your service offerings, product offerings, and your business. The blog posts are something that are expected to be complementary information on your business website. It's supposed to be your subjective thoughts and opinion, industry insight, um, subject matter expertise, things that are going to complement your service offerings. And when you create a new blog post, it basically gets added to the top chronologically and older uh, published posts push down over time. And then this all becomes syndicated through an RSS feed or maybe you have an email subscription system where it automatically pushes an email out to everybody who subscribes and that email would contain your latest blog post. So in this particular demonstration site we ha we talk about transportation, we've had some categories, boats, cars, trucks. Let's pretend we're going to write a blog post now about aircraft since we haven't touched on that before. You go to our dashboard and we go under posts, add a new post. You can also use this shortcut up here in this little device. Click New Post. That's important to make that distinction because it's not a page. Like these are the pages on the site where we talked about the service offerings and they remain fairly static. We're talking about blog posts now. So you create a title. Let's call it Personal Aircraft Under $100,000 and let's just fill in some copy for demonstration purposes. So you've had your title, filling out the body content, you can spend some time formatting it as you want and we cover that in a separate tutorial about how to format your body text and add imagery. And then there's a couple of things you want to do before you hit publish. One of the things you might want to do is to set a category. What is this related to. So for example, we've had po boats, cars, and trucks. These are the high-level categories in our little transportation blog. But um, if we're talking about aircraft, this is something new. We haven't discussed that before. If it was existing in the site, you could simply sort of check it. If it's something that's new, you can click Add New Category and add it on demand here, and we'll call it Aircraft. And we'll click Add. Now that's a new category that's been added. And of course, if this blog post applied to more than one topic here, if it was personal aircraft that convert into road vehicles, then you could go and check both of these because in a way it's related to both categories. It all depends on what the topic is, but at least you want to make sure that you've designated some sort of category for this thing. In a past blog uh, tutorial, we've talked about tags. Tags is a little bit more, adding a little more dimension to um, how visitors can search for content. So on the site, we had looked at some tags here related to gas, hybrid, electric cars, regulation. So if something was appropriate there that you wanted to add, you could fill that in too. So when we're talking about personal aircraft, maybe this article could be about, um, you know, there's liability issues or or other things. And we could go and add a tag there if you want, or choose from some existing ones that have been used in the past. So maybe this is going to run on gas. So we know there's liability issues regarding personal aircraft, and they run on gas. And if you feel that everything looks good here, you can save your draft. WordPress actually does automatic saving for you, so you can roll back uh, in previous histories. Um, so, for example, down here it'll show you an earlier version, the last time it was saved. But I like to go and recommend to um, save continuously while you're doing your work, just in case. You never know if a browser crashes suddenly or, or you know, the power cord gets pulled out and you lose your work. It's better to save often, just as if you were using a word processor. Now that you've put all this information in here, you can preview what this is going to look like. take a look at this. It's not published yet for live, it's still sort of a preview, but we can look and make sure, yes, it looks like I covered off everything I wanted, I filed it under the correct category and the tagging, I think we're good to go. So then come back here and you finally you click publish. 
now it's live. It says post has been published. You can view this. Uh, so in this case, we'll click that. And now you can see it's now the latest. This is the page unto itself. And people can leave comments on it. Um, if you click our blog page here, which is just basically the list of most recent blog posts, you'll see that now it's at the top of the series. You can also see that it's been added to the list of the most recent posts. And the category that we added, aircraft, is now appearing here in our categories, as well as liability, which was the tag that we had created specifically for this blog post. And that's how you add a new blog post to your website.